All right, we're back. You see behind me, I got the moped. I've been doing some troubleshooting electrical work on it, and my worst fears have been realized. I actually need a ignition coil for it. Everything else is fine, it checks out um, on all my electrical testing, and that's gonna be a little while. It's expensive, it's like a hundred bucks, and it's gonna take a couple weeks to get here, so that's on the back burner. Well, I was at Home Depot this morning, and I remembered a project that uh, it's been on the back burner for a while and um, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now while we wait for parts to come in and so I picked up everything I needed so I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do I'm gonna draw it out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the uh, bacon eight or 3000. Basically, I'm going to build a cold smoker. Is this all in the camera? I think so. Uh, basic idea I'm going to go with um, that's been in the back of my mind for a long time is I'm just going to go with an outhouse style. Something like this. Got a roof over the top. It's got some vents up here and a door on the front. I'm going to make this out of some cheap quarter inch plywood and some uh, two by fours. I'm going to cut down to probably one bys. And there's going to be on the bottom, somewhere down here, there's going to be a hot plate that I can put a pan on and throw some wood chips in. And I got to sort it out to where my airflow works perfectly to where there's plenty of smoke but all the heat gets out the top so I might have to put several vents on the top I'm not sure but I got all the materials I need I'm gonna go ahead and get started cutting them up here in a second and we'll go through the build process and then we'll test it all right so before I go out there and start cutting wood I'm going to show you how I'm gonna make my dimensions how what I'm basing my dimensions off of uh, you can Pretty much make it however you want really i'm going to make mine six feet tall and then the depth and width i'm going to base it off of these racks that i have from my actual uh, commercial smoker they're about two feet by about 18 inches or so now you don't have to uh make it any specific size but if you want to have racks in there so you can like uh smoke some jerky things like that you have something in your house that already works that you can base your dimensions off and that's just a rack out of your oven and if you don't have enough racks in your oven for jerky just go to a thrift shop they've got them and most of the ones in the in the world today they're all pretty much the same uh, dimension there's some differences here and there but the vast more majority of them are going to be the same uh, width, length, etc. And these will work just fine. You can lay your jerky across here, smokes up perfectly. So I'm not going off of these because I have about 10 really good heavy duty stainless steel racks out of my regular smoker. So I might as well just base it off of that. And they're a little bit smaller, which gives me some forgiveness when I'm trying to use, trying to build this out of just two sheets of plywood. So there's a quick tip for you. But next, it's time to start cutting some wood and uh, getting all the parts together so we can glue, screw, nail, and then finish this thing and then test it out.
Come here. That dog does not need to get his butt kicked. Come on.
All right, the smoker's done. The cold smoker, that is. It's right over here. Give you a quick walk through. Ended up putting three coats of polyurethane on it. It's about six feet tall, well, thereabouts. Got a uh, really nice nifty thermometer on there. Super cheap economical construction. But it'll do the job. All right, set up for four racks in here. Only got one right now. But I can also put rods across here so I can hang bacon, which I'll be doing in about eight days. Got a hole up there, right up there. I might need more. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how the temperature goes. I got this thing fired up. Just a simple little hot plate. The pot from the thrift store on it and some wood chips. Right now it's on medium. I can't. I used this a while back on a cardboard box. When I used a cardboard box as a smoker. So I'm gonna have to play around with it and see how hot I need to have it. So I get consistent smoke for a good 30 minutes or maybe more without having to reload the pan. Right now I'm gonna season it to discourage red wash from moving in. Hopefully that'll deter them. And uh, we're gonna get her closed up here. This one's cheap. I need two hands for that one. Get her latched up. Okay, once I got smoke pouring out of this thing, I'll, I'll come back and take a look and give you another look at it and see how well she's doing on the temperature as well. Be back in two seconds. There you have it. We're gonna let it keep seasoning. I got about 112 degrees in there. And uh, I'm just gonna let it season up, finish burning the wood and I'll shut it down. And uh, the next video on this will be when I actually smoke some bacon. So I'll see you in the next video.